I'm here at Marriott Desert Springs Villas 1 in a two bedroom villa. You want to see what it looks like? Well, stick around. We're going to head inside and check it out right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. Now before we head inside here and take a look at this two bedroom villa at Marriott's Desert Springs Villas 1, well, I want to introduce you to my friends at Red Timeshares. If you're looking to stay here at this fabulous resort, even considering booking one of these fantastic units, well, you're going to want to head over to Red Timeshares. Check out their confirmed reservations and you can even book online with them with no additional booking fees. So check out the description box below, the first pinned comment, or even scan the QR code here on the screen to head directly over to Red Timeshares. So let's head inside here and take a look at this two bedroom villa using this golden key, but not before I thank Red Timeshares for sponsoring this video. All right, so when we come into the two bedroom unit, you actually come into a small vestibule that if you're only staying in like the one bedroom side, which is over here, or the smaller studio, well, you are actually sharing this with potentially another guest that's staying in the other unit. So if that's the case, don't turn the deadbolt on that door because, well, the people on the other side might have trouble getting in. But in here, there's, well, there's lots of echo, and I know it's just a little bit of artwork and then this small table. So now we can see we're actually in units 97, 93, and 97, 94 over there. This is the studio. I think we'll check out that one first. We'll save the best for last. So making our way into the studio unit here, something that's a little bit unique about these studios at Marriott's Desert Springs Villas 1 is they actually have two queen beds in the studio. Many and most Marriott studios actually just have a king bed and then a sleeper pull-out sofa. But here you have two queens. Some people might like that. Some people might not. You have several nightstands, kind of this kind of modular built-in type of system here, it looks like, with headboards and nightstands. Nightstand over here, and something I noticed, if you're looking for it, well, you might have trouble finding it because, well, the in-room safe is in this drawer, which I thought was kind of strange. And then, well, there is also exposed USB and power, and that is the fact on actually all of the nightstands along the wall here. Now, behind me where I come in is just a small dining room table for two people. And then, well, over here as well is a small kitchenette. You do have a toaster, coffee maker, coffee supplies, paper towels, small sink. Up in here, you will have glassware for, looks like two people, nothing over there. You do also have a small microwave oven. And then down here, well, these are just kind of fake drawers, but over here, well, it is where you'll find silverware for two. And then down under here, well, this is where you'll find some dinnerware and some coffee mugs as well. And kind of some towels and washcloths. And then over under here, well, you're gonna find some kind of kitchen supplies and laundry detergent there as well. Now something else that's nice about these studio units, well, they actually have kind of a more of an apartment sized refrigerator. So a little bit bigger refrigerator. So a little bit more room in here. It looks like maybe some wine bottles can go up there, maybe even just some soda. So lots of room in this refrigerator versus some of, or even many of the Marriott studios that just have kind of a bar sized refrigerator. And then there's even a freezer down here. Now something I noticed, it does say it has kind of this ice bank. I thought one of the ones we stayed in before, we've been in a studio unit here in Marriott Desert Springs Village one before, I believe it had an ice maker, but I can't find any type of ice maker in here or way to turn that ice bank on. So it may or may not actually make ice. And then over here beside the refrigerator, well, you do have kind of just a small closet. You're gonna find an iron. There's an ironing board over there on the other side. Just some room for some storage. And coming in here a little bit more, another look at the bed, some artwork. There is a small patio out there. We'll take a look at that here in just a moment. But here you do have a television kind of up above a small chest of drawers and the television. Well, it's kind of a little bit off center from the bed, but good thing is, well, it does kind of swivel there as well. So you can pull it out and aim it towards maybe the bed that you're sitting or laying on. But now kind of making our way into the bathroom area. Well, we well, do have a single vanity here. You do have also a makeup or shaving mirror on the wall. Some windows here that are also closed, which is probably a good thing because those kind of just look out towards the parking lot. And then you also have a garden tub here. No jets really, 
So just a place to kind of soak. And then also here connected to this is another bathroom. So it's really nice. Another bathroom here, plenty of towels, and then another single vanity here. So you kind of have that split dual vanity, which you don't often see in a studio unit. So these actually kind of have really nice separate little bathroom area. And then in here, actually a walk-in shower. So pump, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So that is the studio. Now let's go out here and uh, take a look at the patio. Just a small patio when we get out here, so let's open this up. So yeah, not too big of a patio. You do have two chairs and a table, and I also noticed they have electrical outlets out here as well, so that's definitely a good thing. But one drawback of these studio units is kind of where most of the patios are situated. If you're in most of these units, well, they're going to be facing the parking lot. You might be able to see them over there on the other side in some of those other buildings as well. They pretty much all face the parking lot unless you're in an end unit, then, well, the studios face the golf course. Those ones are actually few and far between, so more often than not, if you're in a studio and you want to use the patio in the studio, well, you can have this situation here where you have this big concrete wall, Unless you're, of course, on an upper floor, I believe they have kind of more railings, but yeah. A little bit closed in on the patios here in these studio units. So now that we've seen that, we're going to, uh, like I said, save the best for last. We're gonna go over and take a look at the one bedroom. Okay, so as we head into the one bedroom side of the two bedroom villa here, there's just a quick tip I wanna give you because these doors, obviously, and the vestibule kind of cut off access between the studio side and the one bedroom. And you really don't want to have to take your key if you're moving between the units. I notice they don't give you any kind of door stops here to prop open the doors or anything like that. But the doors do kind of just kind of lightly close. So you can do that, but they still might accidentally kind of slam shut. So something I noticed is you could potentially use this bolt lock but I noticed that that doesn't turn, but what you can do then is instead, just push this little button here down at the bottom and it takes that latch out and then when the door closes, well, it won't latch completely and you can use the two bedroom just fine. Moving back and forth, no key or anything like that needed. And then to get that to go back in, well, all you have to do is turn the knob and uh, it disappears and you can close it. So yeah, now coming into the one bedroom villa, this is actually really, really nice. When we first come in, we have the dining room table here for six people right in front of me. And then also over here, there's a small closet. Well, I shouldn't say small, it's actually pretty big, but there's no light in there, so it's kind of dark. Some room for storage. Maybe you can stash your empty luggage in here. But you do also have a fire extinguisher and it's where you'll find the iron and ironing board, as well as, well, there's a recycling bin up there. And now we actually have a pretty good sized kitchen. Quite impressed with the kitchen here. Seems like it's fully stocked with everything you need. And then well, in here, you do have in-room laundry. So great to have that stacked washer and dryer. Then here, well, you do have a refrigerator and a freezer. And this freezer, of course, it does have an automatic ice maker. These cupboards, I'm not necessarily gonna open every single one of them, but of course, they're fully stocked with just about everything you need. You have your storage containers, salad bowl, dinnerware, glassware, cooking utensils, all that kind of stuff, cutlery, pretty much for six people in here. So yeah, got a full range. You have a microwave oven there as well. Your coffee maker, double sink, dishwasher. So yeah, really good size kitchen here. And then there's kind of three bar stools up against the kitchen countertop here. And that was something I noticed that's actually pretty unique here is they actually have the living room and it's actually a sunken living room, something you don't see very often in this day and age. But yeah, a couple of steps here down to the living room. You do have a nice corner sectional sofa here, lamp here with a table. You have a coffee table. You have another side table. You do have some artwork here. And then also over here, well, you do have what is in fact a reclining chair? So really when you lay down, you can lean back and uh, well, 
it will recline. That's not even out all the way. So yeah, nice little recliner there. And then over here, well, we do have a television attached to kind of a nice mantle area here with a fireplace. Now it's not actually a gas fireplace, certainly not wood. They do kind of have these controls on here and you can, can kind of turn it on. So yeah, it does have this kind of little false looking fireplace. It might actually put out some heat. They do also have some additional controls here. I think that maybe turns the fan up and then you have, you can, then you can also turn the light on and off. So yeah, nice to have kind of that little fireplace there. They also have this little cupboard here, but there's nothing in it. I thought maybe at one point they may have had a DVD or Blu-ray player. And you might still be able to hook something up in there, maybe a fire stick, maybe an Apple TV or something like that. So there is an HDMI and electrical outlet right there. So now before we head out and take a look at the patio on the one bedroom side, we're gonna head up this way. We'll head in here and take a look at the bathroom. This is, I guess you consider the master bathroom of the full two bedroom unit. And you have a single vanity here, plenty of towels here on the wall as well, and another walk-in shower. So again, your pump stuff on the wall, shower head in here. So nice walk-in shower, not too big, but not too bad. And now we'll head over here because it's kind of a separate area connected to the bedroom where you'll find another vanity, and then here you'll find another soaking tub. So another garden style tub here. Fortunately, no jacuzzi style tub, but you know, still kind of nice if you want to just relax. But yeah, nice to kind of have again this split vanity area. And now heading into the bedroom area, well, you do have a king size bed, nightstand on each side, exposed USB and power, plenty of light, nice headboard here, some artwork on the wall, no ceiling fan in here. In fact, no ceiling fans throughout the unit. And then they also have this kind of bench here at the end and also a chair over here. And I noticed this chair is actually blocking the patio door. So we'll take a look at the patio. We'll go back through the living room area here in just a moment to take a look at that. But I do want to show you this closet. This is where you're going to find the in-room safe. There's a laundry basket and well, there's some extra kind of bedding supplies. I'm sure that sectional out in the living room pulls out into a bed. Now also, before we head out and take a look at the patio, well, here's just kind of a dresser with a television. Now, now something I noticed, the television's kind of crammed up against this wall here. Not really sure what the deal with that is. So it's not really adjustable, you can't turn it. And if you're actually trying to watch television in here, you might have a little bit of a problem because this wall is in fact even blocking some of the view from the bed. You really can't turn this, it doesn't move. So you might actually end up watching it from well, that vanity area of the bathroom. Oh, and something else I really wanted to mention, they actually have a stool here in the bathroom. That's definitely a really nice thing to have, really handy there. So now that we've seen the entire two bedroom lock off here at Marriott's Desert Springs Villas One, let's head out and look at the patio here on the one bedroom side. So yeah, this is it, the patio here on this one bedroom side. We'll start it over here. This door actually goes into the bedroom. So that was the one that was blocked by that chair. They do have a lounger up here. And then I notice over here, they do have a patio table with four chairs. And well, there is also an electrical outlet down there. Now, of course, we're not really in the best location here. The main clubhouse pool is right there. A little bit noisy, a lot of people in the pool, but good thing is you can kind of take a look and see, well, how busy is it? Is it gonna be worth going to the pool or maybe find one of the other pools to go to? Yeah, here we have kind of a nice little view of the golf course here at Marriott's Desert Springs Villas. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help with these videos, helps to get out to a lot more people looking to come here to Palm Desert. Maybe they're considering this resort. Also again, be sure to check out my friends at Red Timeshares. And if you wanna see another video from here at Marriott Desert Springs Villas, well, check out this one right here. It's gonna be a full resort tour. Check that out coming up next. Thanks for watching and remember until next time, the best destination is always a timeshare.